now we're going to get to my favorite part of the show. We're going to get to my man, Chris Schwenke. Chris Schwenke, I'm sure he's got one of those or several of those micronutrients that the doctor was talking about. And we're going to go find out and see what he's got cooking up for us. Because as always, a man can throw it down and going to tantalize your taste buds, including mine. And I'm looking forward to it. Let's go outside and go talk to Chris Schwenke. What's up, Gary? Hey, Chris, what's All right, right man. man. It's oh, a, yeah. It's always good, man. <laughs> oh, this is a good segment. Always oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Talking about the protein, Big the tiny time. little portions, Ooh. and no carbohydrates at night. It's, it's Big awesome. Time. It's like Big exciting time. coming Big from time. this leading up to segment. So, what, what you got going out here? You got, oh, look, you got some look, fish or what? It's February. Look, <laughs> Pompano are running. Late yesterday, we've been shooting this show yesterday. They had a thousand Pompano running. I managed to get one. Just run it through right here, so we got the poles out just in case. So hopefully we'll surprise boss man here with a fish before this uh, eight or ten minute segment comes in. But if not, the poles are still out. We got live shrimp on them. It's really good. So maybe maybe we catch another dinner for for tomorrow, yeah, perhaps. That's, huh? that's exactly right. <laughs> I love it. Live off the land. God will or the sea in this case. <laughs> so, so man, man. So what kind of bait we got going? Okay, back we got live shrimp today. Uh, I wish I had the live bucket, but we're using shrimp that's that big. They're live. I wish I could show them to you, but I didn't get it, so we're just going to pass on that. But we do got, though, Gary. What do we have tuna. Here? We got tuna. A buddy of mine caught some tuna over here in Florida. As you can see, this is the end, what we call the end. We catch pompano, like snapper, sometimes grouper, but we're going out where the sailfish is, tuna. That's where my buddy caught this tuna. So we got a... Uh, it's usually a yellow fan, black fan, blue fan. We got a blue fan tuna here. And, and what you do is, once again, we use our old trusty olive oil again, oh. Cola Vita. You're going to heat it up in the pan to smoke point, and you're going to put some uh, roasted sesame seeds again once we had this. We eat a lot of sesame seeds before. on That's it. right. That's yeah. right. And cracked, fresh cracked pepper. And that normally, they, they sell it now. It's in a pepper mill. You don't have to go buy the, the McCormick stuff that's already blended. You can get it now with fresh cracked pepper. I highly recommend it. This, with these seeds, and you press it into the meat, and once the oil's at smoke point, you're going to cook it yeah. at probably one minute on each side. That, that, one minute, you're going to turn it, that's it, and then you're going to have a, a plate in the freezer already. When you first get home, you're going to put the plate in the freezer. Yeah. So when this thing is yeah. finished, you're going to throw yeah. that on that frozen plate and throw it right back in the freezer to stop the cooking temperature. That's quite a process there, but very, very quick. That's oh, very, very quick. That's this what's is, I mean, yeah, it. we're cooking in 10 minutes. This is easy stuff. Yeah, and like that. the sauce, same thing. This is, like I told you before, we use the light soy light soy sauce and you're going to use about this much uh ginger this is ginger but this is one thing i want to show you about the ginger this is an easy thing you know you look at that and you go hey how i'm going to shell it you just use a serrated knife and you can just peel it off like that ginger's a real great spice it's oh it's pretty versatile look and, and they're still figuring out the properties that that, that are good in, in ginger there's a, that's right there's a lot of healing properties and Oh, yeah, it's uh, so and it's easy. Once you you know you knock the skin off, you just dice it up, and about this much, maybe maybe twice as much, and, and, and a couple cloves of garlic, big cloves of garlic, like this. The big cloves now outside about five of these, and a couple chunks like this with the whole bottle. So all and you that get green onions and a little red cracked pepper. And all this, I mean, all this, I mean, that takes about three minutes to get that all together. And you just saute the onions and the garlic and the ginger a little bit. That's right. Then you put the olive oil, the olive oil in there and a little uh, soy sauce to heat it up. And that's our dipping sauce. And you can also use that. It's going to be with our greens. Again, we're using the uh, the California greens, and the this arugula. Is, this is what uh, it looks like, right? That's what it looks okay. like. Wow. Nice colors. They, oh, yeah. Heck yeah. See, we can just spoon it over here, Ooh, make a little yeah. salad dressing. Ooh. Like that. Like that. That's right. And then here we go. You get the tuna. Yes. That's right. Here you go. We, yep. There you go. Oh, look how easy. Oh, look at the color in that. This is like restaurant quality. Oh, stuff, yeah. This is, it? yeah, this is this is restaurant quality. And then you just get it. And you lay it on your salad like that. Oh, man. Look at that. Beautiful. That's like a work of art. It, it is. There you go. See, just drizzle a little bit of your sauce on there like that. And then you give my boss man, uh, Gary, a fork. Presentation is what it's all about. Look how it beautiful. Tastes. It's oh all about God. taste and having fun. And look, I this, love this. With this herbs, it, it's fun. We're having fun. Look at this. All right. Eat your heart out there. I'm, I'm tasting the food. Oh, my God. Oh, man, bro. What's up, bro? Mm. Heck, yeah. Tuna. That's good stuff. 
What's, what's the name of the dish? Tuna. And sear tuna with the uh, with uh, what is it? Uh, ginger with the ginger soy. Ginger soy. Ginger soy. Very simple to make. Very, Very easy. Simple. Again, the whole idea, folks, is 30 minutes or less. Simplicity, but highly effective. Very, very tasty dish. Chris, again, my man, this dish is off the hook, brother. Yeah, because you got the tuna. It's, it's, it's low in fat, low in calories. It's a good fish, and you don't want to overcook it. That's why we cook it like this. You sear it. You put it in the freezer, cool it down. It's good for your salad. And see, like this, that's one meal. You can save this for tomorrow. You'll have two meals. So it's going to take you, what, two, three minutes the next night just to heat it up. So when we're done with this show, I'm going to eat the <laughs> meal he was talking about. <laughs> yes, sir. The only one. I love it. Um, now, Chris, in a parting shot here, um, so you're saying it's a minute because, you know, growing up, I didn't think you could cook anything in a minute. But it's that quick. Yeah, because, look, you get this. They're already roasted, so you're not, you're not having to roast your sesame seeds. Anymore. It's like, I mean, right, you are. and then you, you got the soy sauce, you got the olive oil, and all you're doing is slicing a little onion, uh, a little garlic, and a little ginger. And you're sitting in the olive that. oil in a pan, it's, it's easy. And, and you'll, you'll adjust to what you want. You know, I'm telling you, you, you know, basically how much to put in there Love to, it. to a, uh, a five ounce bottle of soy. But you, you'll manipulate it yourself. But it's a, it's a, it's a good, it's a good start to a recipe that like you that. will. Yeah, that you can manipulate and, yeah. and you can make it your own. It's badass, I'll tell you folks. But Chris, my man, again, brother, every week you come you, you come down to our show and you throw it down like no one else. Thank you. Appreciate it. I man. have a lot of fun. It's all about having fun. That's all what it's it all is. about, brother. So let's take a look and catch you, brother. Take us off camera, man. I'm going fishing. <laughs> my physique, changing bodies, changing lives.